Today is a beautiful day. It is beautiful because I am aware that I am one with God and God is one with me. In other words, that which created all things, which I commonly call God, is a beautiful implantation in this physical body that I am moving and functioning around this earth in. Another way of saying that is I am the divine having a human experience. We know of this experience as is spoken of in the Bible and the biblical story of Jesus. There are many who have departed from that and says that that was allotted to one person or one man only. I do not live in that space. I seek only to remember that I am the divine having this human experience. And there is such power in that place. Especially when you go back and remember your time here on planet Earth. How I have attached myself to a somewhat disappointing, chaotic vibration. And when I say that, I mean that I've experienced the feelings of not being worthy, not being beautiful, abandonment issues. All are available because God is everything. See, I wasn't taught that God had a beautiful side that was afforded to me and afforded to everyone. I was taught that I had to earn God's love. I had to earn God's forgiveness. I had to earn His grace. My experience was, with God was taught to me that my performance or my behavior was indicative to my heaven experience or my hell experience. I had to be good in order to go to heaven. And if I was bad, I'd go to hell. And all of this was surrounding emotions attached to God. And this is how life was for me. Today, it's not that way. And because I am free of that, it puts my ego in a different position. It puts God's ego in a different position. I now live in the fact that there are choices that we make based on what is presented before us. We have choices and our choices create our reality or our experience. In my choice to live separate from God, I chose the emotions that weren't so positive. Abandonment, worthlessness, not being pretty. pretty. When I began to become aware of a oneness that I share and I believe we all do I don't think that we all accept that but I do believe that we all share that common fact but when I became aware that I have a oneness with God then the aspect of God being judgmental or God being emotional or that God kept track of whether I did good or bad. All of that was removed. And then I saw God in a pure, loving, kind, wonderful 
form. Because you see, it was hard to love God knowing that I only had maybe a hundred years here to get it right. Or I would experience either eternal, which is much longer than a hundred years, eternal heaven or eternal hell. From my perspective, God was very cruel that he would only give me a hundred years to get this thing right for my eternal existence. So removing the judgments, the emotional distress that God uh, has, or that at least I was taught, it allowed me to sit in a place where there was no judgment. There was no emotional stress involved. It was just pureness of everything. And then I began to relax that on the one side of God was all of the beautiful things that I'd like to have. Like peace and love and joy and harmony. And on the other aspect of God, there is chaos and turmoil and lack of joy. And in this beautiful place, it was up to me as to which aspect I wanted to be in this body, in this time, in this place. And for me, the answer is love and joy and happiness. So I travel there and I be there and I exist there. And in that place, disappointment, unworthiness, lack of beauty, all of those things seem so unattractive. They can't easily get to me. The further I go, the opposite way of it. And so in this place today, I live there. And God has become so beautiful to me. God has become something that I can comprehend to the degree that man can comprehend (laughs) so when I say that I don't want to take away the expansion version of God that everything is wrapped up in that oneness and to every degree there's some um, great diversity towards it and giving this conversation in an aspect that I understand that God is all things. And I can navigate on which side I'd like to live in. What experience do I want to have? And this is a great place because in this place I have chosen life in abundance. I've not chosen life with a struggle attached to it. So I won't be tied down to worrying about whether my bills are paid or worrying about whether I have this or I have that. I won't be tied down to the negative aspect of living. What I will be tied to is abundance. Abundance in spiritual development. Abundance to spiritual awareness, abundance to self awareness, abundance to not having any worries or concern about how I peacefully live my life. I travel in order to connect to the many different aspects of myself, the prints I've made here. I see the writings on the walls. I understand 
the journey. This is my place. And in this place, I am free. I am whole. I am complete. I want for nothing. I lack nothing. This is a good place. I seek in this physical body to help many people return to the God state within themselves. That is my work. That is what I want to do. That is what I'm going to do. It is what I do. And it is beautiful. I live in said abundance. And there is no other place that I dwell. This is my self-talk. What is your self-talk today?